Hey Janice, so we're going to do another video here, and this one is going to be on inserting hyperlinks and links to other content on the internet inside of your, uh, your email campaigns within MailChimp. So we're going to come in here to our general MailChimp uh, template box. So this is where you've got all of your individual templates saved. And for now, we're going to just use the base template um, for uh, fit, um, follow up, and term, uh, inactive, and terminated. Sorry. So we're going to go ahead and so click this to select it, and we're going to replicate as usual. And once we do that, we're going to get a copy of the template that we can now use to make our email. So I'm going to click up here on rename just so I can rename this. And this will be hyperlink tutorial. Okay. Just so it's clear what this is and we don't get it confused with any of your other stuff. So um, this is that template for the follow-up uh, inactive and, and terminated. Um, we're going to work within this template and add some content to it, as well as some links to show you various ways of linking to content across the internet. Um, and we're going to try to cover several different types to make it easier so that uh, there's less confusion. So just to give you a little bit of a heads up on navigation so you don't get lost, um, I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, they save a ton of time. So if you see Windows switch like rapidly um, like this, uh, that's just Alt-Tab. If you hold down the Alt key and press the Tab key, it allows you to move between the, the different windows and applications you have open. And since we're focusing on just these two, then uh, that's what we're going to tap between. So here we've got our main template, this for the hyperlink tutorial, and we're going to add text to this. So as usual, we're going to control A to select all this text, and we're just going to backspace to delete it. And now we're able to start adding our text and content we want to add to the page. So we're going to come over here. I've pulled up, oops, uh, I have pulled up, let me minimize this, I'm making a mess there. I have pulled up a list of various um, web pages related to the Isogenix program just to use as examples. Um, uh, and these will give us an idea um, of various ways that we can link content. One of these happens to be a PDF file from the Isogenic site. One of these happens to be a Word document. And one of these is literally just a page on the Isogenics uh, website as well. And we're also going to cover how to grab a, a link directly from a Google search to add to your content. So we're going to do these one by one. We'll start with the PDF. So this is a PDF regarding nutrition. Isobody honest honest to goodness guide for nutrition for your Isobody challenge. So we're going to add this to our newsletter. So we're just going to come back to our newsletter here. And actually, maybe to make this less confusing with the switching, let's do this this way for right now, where we put it side by side, just so it's easier for you to see all of the uh, various elements all at once. Okay, so we're going to start editing our, our content here, our text body in our template for this, and I'm just going to put some generic text. Um, we can just put a bunch of uh, text in here, uh, whatever you're going to be doing. But right now we're going to just focus on the hyperlinking, okay? Not the construction of an entire uh, campaign. So we want to link to this PDF file, okay? You can click in the address bar up here, and I'll do that slower just so you can see. Up above, whenever you're looking at a web page, is this bar that goes all the way across. That's your address bar. It's over here too. It's where you type where you want to go on the internet. Whenever you're on a page or a document on the internet, it will have a dedicated URL up here. Um, so you're just going to click on that once. That's it. Just once. Nothing else. And that highlights the entire thing. And then we're just going to hit Control-C to copy. 
or alternatively, you can right click and select copy. And then we're just gonna click in our document and hit Control V to paste it. Or you can right click and, oops, right click and select to paste. Why did my paste option disappear? Oh, it may be because I've already pasted the content. Let's just check it here. Yes. So um, that option wasn't showing because I had already pasted the content in here. So what you see is this is just a link directly to the PDF, okay? It's not very pretty. It's a big, long jumble of word soup uh, or, or alphabet soup, and uh, it can be a little off-putting to people. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add a heading here, and we're going to call this the Honest to Goodness Nutrition Guide. And look at me misspelling the word honest. Okay, now we're just going to highlight this text. Okay, let's do this again. Highlight this text. Okay, we're going to copy our link and then we're going to come over here with this text highlighted. There's going to be a little icon up here that looks like a chain. Okay, looks just like a chain link because it's to link to something. We're going to click on this and now we can paste our URL or the web address we want to add to that there. And then we're going to click insert. What that does is it now creates this text as a hyperlink. You'll notice that it changed a color and it has a line underneath it to indicate to users that that is a hyperlink, that they can go someplace with that on the internet. When they view this in a newsletter, when they put their mouse over it, this will turn into an icon for clicking. Usually it's a small gloved hand um, with a finger pointing to indicate you can click this link. So you've now created a link using text to a guide on the internet, in this case a PDF file. So in the actual email that they receive, they'll get all the, or the newsletter that they receive, they'll, they'll see all the text and then they'll be able to see this particular link that takes them directly to the isogenic site to this guide that we have here, the Honest to Goodness Nutrition Guide. So that covers the PDF. Now this one is a Word document. The process is exactly the same. And the only reason I brought that up wasn't to do confusion or insert confusion, excuse me. It's to, I understand that sometimes uh, when you're looking at things and they're different items, uh, you can get concerned like, well, wait, what about this? This isn't a PDF. This is a Word document. It's okay. The process is absolutely identical. So you would put your text. In this case, this is a, I forgot what this was. It is a... Shopping list, I believe. And get rid of all of the... Yes, so this is a food shopping list for isogenics. So, I'm going to add some text here. After... Oops, let's just say, now that you have a better idea of how to eat healthier and promote your isogenics lifestyle. Let's look at resources to help with shopping for health. Okay, ha, not shooting, shopping, some days. Okay, now we're going to create text again. In this case, it's going to be a ISA, ooh, wow. Genix um, food shopping list. Okay, we're going to highlight this text once again, 
and we're going to click the little chain icon for a link and now it's ready for the web address. We're just going to come up here and click, copy that, and paste. Sorry, I had messed that up um, because of the way that I opened it. And technically this is actually a PDF too. I, I, it identifies as a Word document. It's because it's a Word document that's been converted to a PDF. Uh, I'm not trying to confuse things, I just want to make sure I'm clear. Um, but when you see this uh, on a thing, you may go, oh, well, this is this different. Does it work the same? Yes, it works just the same. It's a link on the internet, and all you need to do is press that little chain icon, click to insert it, and now we have another hyperlink to a different document, which is the Isogenics Food Shopping List. So lastly is a web page. So on the web page, the process is going to be absolutely identical. So we've got here, which is a document that you got on the internet as a PDF. Here's another one that, that you know says it's a Word document, but it's actually a PDF made from a Word document for the internet. And then here is just a web page. Same process. Even though these are three separate things, okay, um, by perception, the process works identically. You're just going to copy it. And here we're going to, what is this page called? I forget. Um, third meal. Isogenics third meal ideas. I'm having a really bad time typing this morning. It's because I don't actually, uh, I don't actually type. Okay. So we're going to highlight this click on our hyperlink and once again we're just going to paste and insert and now you've created a list or a link to this right here this web page so that's a general guide for hyperlinking or linking to documents web pages pdf files on the internet and adding those into your content in a email campaign now just to cover a couple of additional things that may raise questions you can add images, okay, the same way. So you're here in your document. You can come to this page and click, and you can copy the image and just control F to paste it right into your um, newsletter. So you've now added that individual element, in this case, that picture to your newsletter, which you can see there, okay? Same process, you're just copying and pasting. Very much like you would work within a Word document when creating a letter or email. Um, the same principles for adding content within that apply for newsletters and internet resources. So, one of the last ones I told you we would cover is a link from the internet. Once again, same exact process. All of this can seem intimidating when you're not absolutely familiar with it, but it truly is easy. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go, um, I'm going to put in just a heading for uh, Isogenics Foods for Cleanse. Okay, we're going to come over here. And I'm just going to right click. You'll notice on the page when I move my mouse, this just becomes a cursor for selection. But as you move across the link, it becomes a hand. The hand indicates this is a link. You'll notice a line comes underneath it. You're simply going to go over the link and right click it, and you're going to go to copy link address. That's it. You'll come back over here, and just like before, you will highlight this text. You will click on the link and you will simply control F or right click paste to add that link and insert. That easy. Now you've inserted a link to an article on the internet directly from a Google search. And this works with any link on the internet. It even works with uh, links that are inside of the site. So for example, uh, this is not, this is actually a PDF document. Let's come over here and go to Isogenics. So inside this article, you'll notice 
there are links that they've added inside their blog. So this blog article has a link here and a link here. Well, say you wanted to add that link to your newsletter. You're simply going to add your text, come over here, you'll notice that the icon turns directly into a hand, meaning it's a link, right click it, copy link address. Come right back over to your newsletter, highlight that text, click on the link icon, and paste your link, insert. It's that easy. So that gives you a bit of an overview on hyperlinking to content on the internet, adding links to your newsletters. So just to review, we started with just a blank newsletter from the template. We went in and added some text. Then we added a hyperlink to a PDF document. We added a hyperlink to another PDF document, one to a web page um, directly from the web URL. We've also covered adding a link from a Google search. And lastly, from a link inside the page. Um, for right now, that's all the ways I can think of for linking to content on the internet and adding it to your newsletters to make it accessible and to look good for your um, clients and, and newsletter recipients. So I hope that answers the question there. I, knew we, I know that you want to cover videos, so we're going to cover that in a separate uh, training video just to make things a little easier. Uh, we don't want to flood too much content and then add some confusion. 